Trans Transworld Motocross Mini Major. I'm Megan Maeda and I'm going to be your host today for this one of a kind championship made just for kids. Come on, let's go see some racing. from BTO Sports. So what do you think of a race made just for kids? I think it's amazing. They should have more of these, you know, races for kids because honestly, who doesn't want to come out and watch kids race? Yeah, I think it's great. Many races are the future of our sport. How can you ensure growth in motocross? Um, you ensure growth in the motocross by actually helping out the mini racers. At BTO Sports, for 2017, we're doing our amateur support program. So if you go to btosports.com, uh, click on the amateur support banner, uh, fill out the form. Um, we're gonna give you guys support in the amateur ranks. That's how you. That's how you uh, ensure that the mini racers are gonna get support throughout the future and their racing and events and stuff like this. So what's new from BTO Sports this year? What's new in BTO Sports uh, in this year? For, well, for 2017, we're actually putting together an amateur program. Um, a, the seven amateur racers, top seven for BTOsports.com. So what we're gonna be doing is picking out seven riders. That's why we're here. We're actually gonna be uh, scoping out the riders here that we're gonna support for the 2017 season. So, which is really, really cool, yeah. I think, yeah. So what are you doing here today? Well, I came here to try to get in some Supercross practice. Um, a little behind the ball here, so I'm trying to get some extra time squeezed in. I roll in and there's about a thousand kids here for this uh, mini major. So came out here and uh, was gonna ride, but now I'm gonna watch this Trans World race that we got going on and see what we got, some young talent, you know, scope out uh, future competitors here, you know? I'm here with Todd Hawkins. So what do you think of the mini major? Oh, it's amazing. It's just so much fun that Kids get to have their own race for once. Yeah. So, are you gonna get in that bouncy house? Oh, yeah. <laughs> So what do you think of the Mini Major, a race made just for kids? Uh, I love it. Uh, I think this is the second year you guys have had it. Uh, our first year um, being a part of it, and uh, I think it's an awesome race. Uh, super cool idea just for kids. Um, on the way here, I was kind of thinking it's going to be a little bit strange being at a motocross race, and uh, the only four-stroke you hear is probably Carson Mumford.
McCune representing Boysen. So can you tell me a little bit about this bike? Yeah, it's a 2016 uh, Kawasaki KX100. And as you can see, it's decked to the nines. Um, I'm, I sure hope whoever gets this, uh, some kid is gonna be just super stoked. Um, we've done the last four months, we promoted through Trans World and, and all the partners you see on the bike. Um, and it's kind of come down to today. Uh, we've had thousands of online entries, uh, plus everybody that's here at the, uh, at the Mini Major uh, gets a free entry. So um, we just gave away um, a bike uh, in our last one to a uh, lucky guy in Wisconsin. So, um, and I know it's cold there right now, so hopefully the sun can bring out uh, some lucky kid that's gonna be, be winning, uh, winning this beautiful machine today. I'm here with Andy Anderson, and we know that the Mini Major is all about the kids, and kids love free stuff and prizes. So what goodies are being awarded today? Today, our wonderful sponsors were able to bring out gear, seven gear brought out for our champions of the classes. We have Liette was giving away through raffles, chest protectors, they were giving away hats, t-shirts, all that good stuff. Some of our other sponsors, Pro Taper, they were giving out bars, and of course we have the amazing specialized bicycles for all of our smaller riders, 65 class champions. today? Um, it was good. I got a third in my first moto and then my second moto my friend Brock Bennett went down and I passed him and then um, I rode the next two laps good and I got first place. So what do you think of the concept of the mini major without any big bikes and stuff? Um, it's pretty cool because there's no big bikes. Um, it's a lot of good racing because it's everybody on little bikes coming here to race and um, it's pretty cool. cool. Thank you for coming out. Thank you. All right, so we got over here, Gordon Tuber. I seen you just finish up a rad race. What'd you end up second place right there? Yeah. Well, before you did that, you signed up for a little contest from the boys from Boys In, and guess what? You just rock won this bike. Yes! Oh my God! Wow! 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 wow. Boys In coming through for the win, dude. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What do you what do you think? Did you know did you know this was gonna happen or what? No, I was like watching like some of the trans world videos and I was like or I saw someone on Instagram and I was like, oh that bike looks like a beauty. So I was like, why not enter? Well, what do you think? I mean I saw you just came off from the 65cc. Can you think you can handle this? The 110, the big dog? Are you ready for this? Oh yeah. oh yeah! Super mini time. You know how much faster you can hit those braking bumps? Oh yeah, a lot faster. Maybe a little bit more style. Well, what uh, What do you got to say to old Trans World and Boys In over here? Come over here, look into this camera. What do you have to say to Boys In Trans World making this happen for you? Uh, they're really nice. It's a really nice event. All my friends are here. I I hope to have fun with this event and maybe do some more. Had a baby, well check out your brand new 110. Wow, wow. And so we know last year you had a great year on your 50. How's the transition been to your 65? It's been good. Um, 50 career is over on the 65. I feel really comfortable on it. Hopefully I can win this race and keep on going from there. Hey Talon, so we talked to you yesterday and it seems like this weekend turned out pretty well for you, huh? Yeah, it's been pretty awesome. Do you have anyone you'd like to thank? Uh, Hilton Co. Spy, Thor, the good Lord Jesus Christ, first of all, uh, my family, my friends, um, Ethica, Alpine Stars, um, ProTech, uh, and everybody else, thank you so much. Thanks for coming out this weekend. Thank you. Have you gotten a kiss from the trophy girl yet? No. <laughs>
Roth Bennett. And what attracted you about the mini major? It's a lot of good competition, a lot of kids to race, and it's a good place to come and race. How'd your races go? It went pretty good. I had a couple of bobbles in some of them, but for the most part, I got a good start. And... So is the track run differently without big bikes? Uh, yeah, it doesn't build up as good as ruts and doesn't get as rough, but it's, it's doing all right. Thank you for coming out today. Thank you. Thank you. a non-endemic brand like Wiener Schitzel to motocross, specifically the mini major? Um, well, yeah, my background really, uh, it's, it was kind of a no-brainer when I got brought into uh, working for Wiener Schnitzel to kind of bring it into this world. I mean, I worked for Monster Energy Drink and that was kind of my eye-opener into what uh, a brand could do inside the motocross industry and uh, it's my passion. I absolutely love this place, you know, love being around the motocross industry, love being around the scene. Um, for me, this is uh, this is home, and I think the brand fits really well here. I see you've got a mini support racer. Can you tell us more about Hunter Cross? Yeah, yeah. So Hunter Cross, uh, actually, the cool story about Hunter is Hunter went came and found me at uh, Oakland Supercross. Here's Hunter, and uh, and he actually he promoted himself, and I thought it was really really cool. And uh, after doing some investigation and talking to some people, uh, actually over at Trans World, they said, you know. The Cross family is really awesome, and Hunter Rip. So, uh, so it's kind of a no-brainer. I really like the kid, and uh, he he does shred on a on a dirt bike. So it, it kind of goes hand in hand, and he loves hot dogs. <laughs> so that was like kind of like the topper for everything. It's like every day. What was it? Every Wednesday. Every Wednesday. Every Wednesday after he practices at the track, uh -huh. they go to Wiener Schnitzel, oh, and that was before he was even sponsored by us. So. So it was like a no-brainer, like I said. His mom's like, oh man, we can't even not go to Winter Sitzel or else he gets all bummed out. So, so it's a, like I said, it was a cool little collaboration. And like I said, he's uh, he does kill it out there. And the only problem is he's coming off a little inter uh, injury, but uh, we'll get him out there again and so he can uh, start getting some Ws out there for us. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So Hunter, what do you think of the mini major even though you can't race right now? I'm actually really jealous. Mini major seems so sick. I'm. I'm already missing riding and me coming out here makes me want to ride even more, so. Once you heal, what are your plans for 2017? Uh, when I heal for 2017, hopefully I uh, still stick with my sponsors because I'm liking how everything's going and just get back to training and stamina, conditioning and just keep trying to get faster.
So Styles, you went uh, one, one, one in the Super Mini Open class. So pretty dominant performance. Yeah. Uh, other than my first two motos in the Super Mini one, uh, I won every other moto. So that was kind of good. Good confidence booster and. Uh, Hey, yeah, track was good. Uh, my starts were good, so I just tried to ride my own race and uh, worked out pretty good. So last year, the mini major wasn't so awesome for you. I think uh, I think you made it like halfway through the first moto, and your bike blew up, and you and you went home. Like the guy who has like 15 bikes, and you only brought one. <laughs> yeah, I ended up only bringing one, and uh, it was something weird. I think it like cold seized or something, and. Uh, yeah, jumped back jump. I can't. I got like a terrible start too, and then just try to like work my way up the back. Was in second, and I was like right behind first, and then, yeah, bike broke. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was it was fun. Uh, track was so good last year, and um, yeah, I mean it's gonna be a big national for sure in the making, I believe. Cool. So like, yeah, um, this is probably your last year, but uh, I think this race is pretty important. I think there is a void for kids uh, to have the race just for them. Uh, would you agree? That's kind of a unique. Uh, concept. Yeah, I think it's really cool, and especially like how you guys have the, the they have the vet rule going on this weekend too. So it's like you know you got the, I know vet. the normal age yeah. guys have nothing. To yeah, do. exactly. The vet vet rules over here, and then we got the kid kid race over here, and I believe it's gonna help our sport a lot, you know, and because even the average Joes that come to the Trans World races, and you guys advertise it, and they're like, oh, and then they see you know Carson and and Dylan and myself, and they're like, oh, you know what I mean? They they see us, and they're like, well, we could be that, you know, yeah. and and. I think that will help our sport quite a bit. Cool. So uh, you've had quite the last couple of months. I mean, Monster Energy Cup, and then this one. Uh, what's left for you on mini bikes, or is it big bikes next year? No, I'm gonna finish. I'm gonna do minios, and then uh, hopefully I'm big enough after the is next year, and I'll, I'll get on to VF. Cool, cool. So have you seen the December issue of the magazine? Oh yeah. I brought it for you, but I'm gonna just give you that part. You know why? Why? Because you get the cover. No way. Yeah. You want to so go do a photo shoot? Yeah, I'm down. <laughs> All right, so let's go, Emery. All right, let's send it. <laughs> Craig, as race director, how do you feel like the second running of the mini major went? Oh, it's uh, it's gone great. I mean, it's uh, definitely an improvement over our first year. So um, the turnouts couldn't ask for it to be better, and uh, it's definitely going the right direction for sure. I think this race has the potential to be one of the most important races in the country for kids. Do you agree? Oh, absolutely. I mean, this whole race is built around the kids, the mini riders. They are the future of the sport. Uh, you know, our second uh, time around, we're over 650 entries. Um, and it's amazing at what fast kids showed up. Uh, and like I said, being that it's all about the kids, uh, I. I'm just going to be amazed at what happens in the future, what this turns into. Well, that's a wrap on the second annual Mini Major. I'm Megan Maeda, and on behalf of Craig Davis and Trans Motocross, thanks for watching.